Hey y'all, well this is going to be a video about my um, perfume collection that I keep on my dressing area, my um, bathroom dressing area. I don't know why I decided to focus right here first, except that this is a faux fireplace. Just like in my office, this is a faux fireplace that what it is is that's a heater and it just has faux flames, but I love it. So this is the bedroom. I don't know if y'all remember when I've done my... Um, my makeup um, collection. This is the one that has like drawers and drawers full. Do y'all want me to do, comment below if you want me to do, update it? Oh my gosh, it's sad how many I have. It's truly can't even get drawers open. But this is my, you know how a lot of people do the um, IKEA. I forgot what it's called. I think the Alex drawers. Well, this is what I have. And this is some other perfumes. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this, so it's so funny. This is some other perfume. So what is this? This is uh, Signorina from Salvador Ferragamo. I forgot this is over here. And Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I used to keep, oops, sorry, it's not that silly. I used to keep a bunch of little, um, of a little uh, samples. This is samples for my husband. I'll show you where I keep samples now because that little um, jewelry box will no longer hold it. Um, so, I, so I'm just giving you like a room tour. Here's pictures of me and my husband over time. That broke. That's from Russian. We've got to fix it. I don't want to turn it upside down. Look, that's our first date. And it was our second date. And that was our wedding. And that's my handsome husband. That's us in Austria. And we're so proud because we just a little, little people. It's us at a wedding that we were singing at and we were watching the couple. Uh, oh my gosh, y'all, that's me back in high school. I think I was Miss May. I was, this, they did a calendar, and I was Miss May. Look at me, sitting on the steps with my little tiny figure and wooden shoes that were really bad for your back. And there's another wedding picture. Why am I going into all this? There's my doggies that are in heaven. That's Stormy and Sheba. And there's me and my husband doing a cookout. Okay, so there's us in Venice. So there's all kinds of us. All right, so here is the case. Y'all may have seen this before. There's a little uh, picture of me my husband put up there. <laughs> um, but that top shelf is Lance's. <laughs> and the rest of it is mine. So this has a number of perfumes that I don't wear quite as much. But I, I want them handy. Oh, God, I forgot all about that one. That's uh, Oh Mademoiselle. I just fought to get that one when it wasn't even out yet. And I got on the list to be first to get it from Givenchy and there's Red Door. Do y'all remember Red Door? I loved that. And uh, this, I love that. That's Rapture from Victoria's Secret. They no longer make it. Makes me so mad. And this was my Kate Spade. I really love this. If y'all want a really light kind of citrusy smell, this is Truly Joyful by Kate Spade, which that breaks my heart because all of them were about hope and joy and she committed suicide. It broke my heart when that happened because I was just hoping she would have the joy um, she spoke of and the hope she spoke of but sometimes we're not in our right mind and I think that's kind of where she was at anyway um, this is Chance by um, Chanel and there's Balenciaga oh my gosh and this is another one of my favorites that's J'adore by, uh, and there's another Givenchy I love this one uh, I think that's called Organza um, I like blue Chanel on my husband the best if y'all ever want to get a really good cologne for your husband this is wonderful it's bleu de chanel for husband and then the other one that i really like on him uh there's a dolce and gabbana one but i, I think it's gucci's or is it guilty very sexy i think it's victoria's secret i think it's gucci's guilty that i really like i think it's this one maybe is that it gucci guilty for men yeah i like that a lot and then sauvage by dior i like that and obsession Okay, so this is my um, case that literally hangs on the wall. You can see a little cord because it can light up at night. But, and now I'm going to walk you across the room. And, oh, out in our hallway. Our hallway is like an um, art gallery, so we put a little um, lights on it. But that was like a really cool piece that we got in uh, Charleston. And then this is from a subscriber. She took a picture of Vella and Brie and painted these, hand painted these. Look at the strokes up close, y'all. This is a true artist. 
And what's really funny is I've had a picture before where the babies were literally standing right there below it. And Velvet was looking up at Brie and Brie was looking forward. She just didn't have the pink bow on. But anyway, so when you go down the hall, what is this turning into? So there's the guest bedroom. It's a mess. There's stuff all over the bed. But can I tell you this is what y'all have asked several times <laughs> for a purse um, review. And um, this is my purse review because it's pathetic how much purses I have. Look in this corner. This is embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Even up to there. Do you see what that is right there? That's a Tory Burch. Squished. Look. These are nice handbags and I've got them squished. Squished, squished, squished. And then look. There's my Chanel I'm putting up. This is in the process of changing over. But then look at this. Look what Velvet does. Alright, so this is a perfectly made bed. This is her room. So what we call it. She jumps up on the bed and gets between those pillows and makes a little nest every day and I have to come back and straighten them up every day. So anyway, um, there's some Henry Bindle and some more Tory Burch. Um, what's in there? There's some more Henry Bindle. There's some Michael Coors. Uh, some more Henry Bindle. Henry Bindle. Um, a lot of Coach. A lot of Coach, as you can see. And then some more Henry Bindle. Some Fry and um, Brighton. And then look behind here. More. Balenciaga. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Anyway, so I'm just, look, my Batiste Mochette. I always say that. Pochette Matisse. Why do I do that? Anyway, and then when you go down there, you see the music room and into my office. So, why are we doing it? I don't know. So, hold on. They're barking. So, I'm going to go on in here. And we are going to move on to where we were supposed to be in the first place. Uh, I wanted to get a little drink of my coffee, if you don't mind. Okay, so in here, when you come in here, oh, I was going to show you this again. Um, this is where I keep, not these, let me pull these off. This beautiful crystal bowl right here is where I keep all these little samples. There must be a hundred samples in there, y'all. But it got too big for the others. So, okay, so now we're coming in here. This is my dressing area. I'll pan back so you can kind of see it. See if it'll focus. Now it should focus. There we go. And as you can see, I've got the, you know, the Hollywood mirrors. Oops, I got a light out. I got three lights out. Look how they're spaced perfectly. That's kind of cool. Anyway, um, I love brass fixtures. Matter of fact, hold on, let me turn the lights up. Um, the problem with real brass is it patinas. Do you see the green? So as pretty as that is and as artsy as it looks, I don't know. It just looks gross because I'm always having to clean this off. So I think I may go to plastic for these particular containers, but I've got these from front gate, I believe. Wait a minute, I can tell you because it's on the mirror. Front gate, yep. So I've got the brass mirror, which you can light up, and it's flips to, you know, the sides to where you can um, do, um, you can also do magnified. And the big huzzah, this perfume kind of caddy what am i trying to say perfume tray and it's a two tier as you can see from the side it says step up and i love the brass and glass together you can see i always do brass and glass brass and crystal brass and crystal that's not booze y'all that is mouthwash <laughs> i don't know if that yeah that's a, a mouthwash it's from victoria trading company and then i just love my little i, I made these into kind of like sconces on either side but they're just night lights and um <clears throat> so over here we'll get to that last I have my Chanel daily regiment of lotions and toners and uh, I do have a Lancome um, to get off any residue of makeup from the, the night before even if I use my Neutrogena wipe it off real good cleanse the face it always seems to be some that's more um that's just a little tray for oh, there those are I wonder where those are well that's perfectly right there um that's just to catch any um earrings or whatever for the night when I just don't feel like putting them up right I just throw them right there. But um, then those are just two pretty little pair of soaps. It's got theme throughout my house a lot. Those are Chanel lipsticks and some, um, and those are just um, kitchen canisters, but I thought they were so pretty they'd be for bathroom. And then um, this is my Chanel bronzer, and I don't know why this one little Chanel, oh, because I'm going to redo my nails. This is Zoya, but look how bored a perfect match it is with Chanel Azure. So I'm going to redo that. And then 
this uh, Cartier wooden set. I don't use it enough. It may go back over to the case I just showed you. And then this is my dressing area. You can see it's got my dryer sitting on there, hair dryer, and then the little seat. But this is kind of my everyday makeup. Is that just pathetic? I need to clean it out. Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got to go through here, y'all. <laughs> okay, we'll do that some other time. And um, so here also, y'all have asked for a review of my fingernail polishes. And as you can see, I'm a huge fan of Chanel fingernail polishes. I do like OPI. Um, I've tried some others. I do like Elizabeth. Um, I'm mean, sorry, not Elizabeth. Uh, Estee Lauder fingernail polishes. I love Coach fingernail polishes, but I've only been able to find them once. But they're great. Um, I like the gl Floss Gloss Unlimited a lot. These right there. Which to me, they look a lot like those. Um, I also like Borghese. I wasn't crazy about the Dior. Um, or the KL Polish. Um, sorry. I love Nail Teenies. Love Nail Teenies. Great coverage. Great colors. I need to get more. Uh, but I really don't need any more of anything until I use all this up, right? It looks like I'm, I have my own nail shop. Essay. Everybody knows about Essay. Um, Sally Hansen Gel and Regular. Um, what's that? Color Stay. This Revlon. Uh, Pacific. Pacifica, which that's all natural. Um, so that's much better for you as these. And look at these great colors. You can get this at uh, like a Whole Foods or a Fresh Foods or a, um, what's it called? Scout Scoots. What's it called? Sprouts. And then there's Revlon. There's Old Skylark. Look at that. Those two. I haven't used them because they're collector's items now because I quit making them. And just some more. Um, there's L'Oreal. And just some different ones. Zoya. There's Zoya. I do like Zoya a lot. Actually, that's what I'm wearing right now is Zoya. Um, and then a picture my husband took on our honeymoon. And he said, just one more picture, hon. And he took a picture looking up. We were underneath the Eiffel Tower. So isn't that cute? That's why so much Paris. And then here's our wedding. There's me. There's my shoes. There's us in the old-fashioned car. There's us running out with bubbles. And there's us at the reception. So why am I telling y'all all this? Okay. So here, finally, 12 minutes in, really should be a new video. Here is my perfume collection that I am most currently using. Or I just think is pretty for this dressing table area. So let's start with what I'm using the most. And that is this. Y'all saw me open this. This is, um, I'm going to have to look at the bottom each time. Okay, sorry. This is Toka, and this is the brand. And then this particular one is called Stella. Y'all, and look at this pretty brass um, detailing pictures of this little um, uh, dragonfly and a bird. It's just really pretty. And then these are leaves and flowers. It's just very pretty antique looking. Antique looking bottle. Kind of old fashioned. And it's a powdery sweet. And I absolutely adore this. Um, and then right behind that is something that my husband got me. And this is Juicy Couture. I think this is Viva. De, yeah, Viva. Viva La Juicy. And I, I think he liked the hot pink. And that he knows I like crystal tops, just anything crystally. Because as you see, I like crystal accents in the bathroom because I think it looks pretty with the brass and the gold. So you'll see a lot of crystal mixed with gold. But uh, and the little tie, I guess he thought was cute. And this is one he just recently bought me. If y'all saw, I did an unboxing of this, and I just think this is so beautiful. Even the corners have the jewels on them, and um, all the way around. And this beautiful, beautiful um, top. And this, again, these are, these two are very, very blushy, um, light floral and almost a powdery, whereas this is just in your face sweet. And so I like that. So I pull these out first so that you could see back in here. I have, um, let me pull the, the little foot out too. Um, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one, and y'all, I absolutely love this. It is a wonderful everyday smell. Um... I don't want to use it up because I love it so much, but I need to pull it out and use it more. I actually used it today. This is Prada, just the original one, and I like it. It's a sharp smell in the back. There is uh, Burberry, the regular original Burberry, and I don't like that as much as my Burberry, so I'm not sure why I bought that. 
That right there is the, the new little one from YSL that my husband got me. And I like it. It's, again, it's kind of sweet and it doesn't seem to stay that good. Now, here's something that stays amazing. This is Brie Court Oud Santal. Y'all, this perfume is so in your face, but this is a unisex perfume, and I can tell you this really is a cologne for men. It is so heavy in the patchouli, but it's a beautiful, it was very, very expensive, <laughs> so, um, and I just, I think it's a beautiful piece, it's a unique piece, um, but I rarely wear it because it's so strong. This is, um, is this good girl or bad girl? I can't remember. These with that look like the shoe, um, these are from Carolina, Carolina Herrera, and it doesn't say if it's good girl or bad girl. But anyway, um, I think it's bad girl. But I loved the spike heel. I think that's so pretty. The gold. And <clears throat> to be honest, that's why I really got it. Okay. So what else is back there? Um, I feel like any collection, if you if you like uh, Christian Dior, the little Miss Dior is a real pretty sweet little smell. And I like it a lot. I think it's really pretty. And I like it. Somewhere was the coach perfume, which I did like that too. Um, okay, so we can put these back now. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is La Poem by, um, hold on a second, Anna Sui. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not La Poem. This is Anna Sui, and it's called La Nuit de Bohème. And this, the flowers and the butterfly got me, and that is why I ordered this. You can see, because I love all this gold accent. It's a pretty piece, but that smells so good that I'm almost used it up. And I've got to go out and see, do they still have it? And if they do, they still have it in that beautiful um, container. And then this was a gift to me. It's Bulgari, and it's a pur, pur theme. And it is wonderful. That is not the original lid, so. Um, but I do love the scent of it. It's kind of a mixture between a strong kind of day put on your suit smell and a sweet smell. And it's balanced perfectly, so I love it. Just like I love the Dolce & Gabbana, the one, and I try not to use it up. Um, so let's put these back. So that's those. <clears throat> and then up here, it's just a row of Chanel's, just about. Um, this is Chanel number no. 5 that I bought from Paris while I was in Paris on my honeymoon for my mother. Because Chanel number no. 5 was my mother's favorite. And she was very much kind of um, that same kind of personality as Coco Chanel's was in that uh, since my mother was a definite patriot and it's been said that Coco Chanel was a friend of, of the Nazis of Hitler himself so I don't know if that's true but I've read it in one of the uh, historic books about her but my mother was kind of feisty in her own person and um, so I just felt like, and plus this was her favorite when my mother was growing up. Chanel number no. five was the thing for classy women to have because it was very expensive. And if you had it, it was very special. This one is almost worn out and I do not use it because my mother's in heaven now and I just save what's left really for sentimental reasons. And here, here is the exact same eau de parfum. Uh, Chanel number no. five, and this is the special Christmas packaging. This beautiful ruby glass. I think y'all may have seen me do the unboxing of this, and it's purely again. This this scent is very strong for me, but I just loved the packaging. Now this scent, I like better. This is the brand new uh, Gabrielle Chanel that was introduced either last year was it or year before last, and just comparing it, it's a much skinnier and much wider uh, perfume bottle. And then back here is my kind of my favorite Chanel, and that is. Um, so I also keep it over here. That is kind of the um, special version where it came in the white and gold. And this is just the regular glass. It's Coco Mademoiselle. And I do love this. It's lighter. I also do like the Chanel Chance, the pink one. Um, this, people tell me when I wear this, you smell like your grandma. But I love it. It is by, by I don't know if I'm saying it right, by, de, by uh, Versailles. And this is made by Jean Dupree. And it also has this pretty little cameo on the other side of some sisters on a balcony in Italy, probably. No, or France. I don't know where. And the top of it almost looks like a um, a musical um, score piece. You also will see that I'm a huge fan of Givenchy. This is Givenchy. Um, you saw that the organza was Givenchy. Um, this is Isatis. It's my husband's favorite scent on me, so he bought it for me. Even though he buys me other perfumes... Well, these two were definitely from him. That little one back there was from him. 
but that's his favorite. So when we go on a date, I usually wear that one. Or, of all things, this is what I got from Paris while we were there, and it's cheap French perfume. Hold on, let me grab it. It's called Sexy Follies. I don't know why I don't have that one out here. Um, but this is his absolute favorite, because it does. It just smells like cheap French perfume. It smells kind of sexy. <laughs> Um, all right, and this is one of my all-time favorites. Very hard to find. It's called Gin Fizz. It's made by Lubin. And this shape is supposed that top is supposed to look like Princess Grace's hat when she got off the yacht to to greet her new country when she became Princess of Monaco. And their only complaint was it's is their beautiful princess who could not see her face for her hat. But she became very beloved by them as she was beloved by us as an American actress. But um it's called Gin Fizz because that was a very popular cocktail in her day. I don't know if she drank it or not. Um, but it does. It has kind of a, a crisp scent to it. It's one of my all-time favorites. It reminds me of Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. If you can get your hands on that, it's another really good one. I'm out of that. I need to order it because it's one of my all-time favorite perfumes for just everyday, fresh, clean smell. And then this is one of the heavier smells that I absolutely love, especially at the holidays, Thanksgiving, or Christmas. And this is... Um, Oh, what is it called? It's Christian Dior, but it's, what's the name of this? Hold on. Dior Addict. And I love the packaging. For one thing, I think it's really cool and modern, just like the Gin Fizz. Um, but it is a very strong smell. Sort of like Obsession is a really strong smell, but it just reminds me of the holidays. And so these are the ones I love. And I do, by the way, I do love this Cartier. And I did put some of that on today, right after I put on the other perfume, which is just so funny that I layer sometimes perfumes. But this is definitely a strong scent. I don't know if you can even see the panther face in it. You're supposed to be able to see it, but can you see it? It's actually in the back. So, I don't know if you can see him. See his little face? You can see it now, except for my pinky. There he is. So, but um, I got that, honestly, for the panther face. And then when I smelled it, I was like, wow, that's really strong. That'd be great for a suit for work. It's really strong for, like, a date or just every day. I wouldn't use it, so... Um, anyway, so that's my dressing areas. There's my, uh, where y'all had asked for my, um, fingernail polish. We took the door off this closet, y'all, because it was such a skinny little closet. And, um, my husband put this beautiful light up in it. Isn't that pretty? Can y'all see? I don't like those kind of ceilings. But, um, yeah, do you see how crammed it is in here? It's just like, oh, and this is what I'm going to be wearing when I sing for Sisters in Christ by, with this beautiful jacket. And sometime I need to go through my jewelry and just get rid of stuff. This is insane. This is all costume jewelry, and it's insane. Well, there's some. Um, my nicer pieces I actually keep in a different case, but this is all my costume jewelry, y'all. I mean, it's everything from Kroger to Chico's to little boutique shops to um, on-site, uh, you know, on websites. Um, it's just all kind of not real gold stuff or any or even sterling silver stuff and then I have another case is where I keep my kind of my fine jewelry right by my bedside my bestie gave me this beautiful case we were shopping one time at um where were we shopping isn't that the cutest little cutie phone I love it um I hate it when they say things like well we're going away from telephone systems I'm like well I'm not but anyway we were shopping at I think it was home goods and she saw that piece it's made by Kenzie, if any of y'all are interested. I'm sure they have pieces that are mirrored like this. And they're velvetized on the inside so that it keeps, like when you put sterling and gold and things you don't want to have to, you don't want just sterling you don't want to tarnish, so it's good to put it in a, a case like this. And this is all my good jewelry in there. Um, but anyway, so that's it. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Oh, did y'all see that when you come in here? This is kind of a European thing that I loved, is uh, you can divide rooms by curtains. And I was going to put up, um, look at my little ruffly shower curtain, y'all. <laughs> um, I was going to put up a curtain here, or beads, old 70s sparkly beads. But it had a mirror uh, pushback door, and it was just, if even though it was a mirror, it felt tight. Y'all look at this. Can y'all see? Look how many brushes. And this little thing that's supposed to be used in the kitchen from Pampered Chef for your, <laughs> for, um... Oh my gosh, y'all, I need to go through all this stuff. Look, do y'all remember this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I look back in there. Oh, and there. There's a brush, brush kit right there. Oh my goodness. 
There's some more foundations. And shoes are just crammed up. Y'all, just too much stuff. Anyway, so that's it. There's me. So I will see y'all again soon. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope that's what you were looking for was just kind of a review of the perfumes, both in the case out there and then in my dressing area in here. And that is how I roll. So when I talk about my dressing area, this is where I'm talking about that I get ready. Sometimes I pull the seat out and sometimes I do it standing up just by that little um, door mirror right there. I just stand there and do it. Or I go back to my office area and do it with y'all. Are y'all wondering? Do you want to know? Do you want to know exactly where? Well, I can't because I'll tell you why. My cleaning lady's here. So I gotta let y'all go. Look at all the junk on the bed. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!